Question number eight asks, which relationship can best be described as causal? And uh, where, given the choices, height and intelligence, shoe size and running speed, number of correct answers on a test and test score, number of students in a class, and number of students with brown hair. Uh, now the important word uh, to remember is causal. And uh, over here, um, I've uh, written down kind of, a, you know, not a complete definition, but a causal, when you see that, it means a, a necessary relationship. That means um, uh, when two things are causal, uh, one always kind of goes with the other, okay? So um, if we look at answer choice one, height and intelligence, uh, well, height is not necessarily related to intelligence, right? There are smart people who are very tall, there are smart people who are very short, and there are smart people who are average height. Um, shoe size and running speed aren't necessarily causal either, right? Um, you can run very fast if you have big feet or small feet. Uh, um, number of correct answers on a test and test score, well, um, your test score reflects the number of correct answers that you got. So yes, these two are causal. Okay, so the answer choice is uh, three. Okay, And uh, just to finish up and comment, um, number of students in class, number of students with uh, brown hair, well, uh, you can have large classes with where everyone has brown hair or you know large classes where no one has brown hair. So uh, not necessarily related. Okay, uh, Three is the best answer choice.